Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Fatty Ghost, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Wilfred Ndidi. Now, what kind of player is Wilfred Ndidi? Because he's definitely not the quote unquote meta or popular player. For me, what he is is a guy that adds balance to your team. You know, you can't have like 11 luxury players on the pitch. You gotta have someone that, you know, does the dirty work. And he's that sort of guy. You know, he's gonna be all over the pitch, you know, getting interceptions, tackles, things like that, making up for the space that, you know, maybe a fallback leaves, things like that. So that's the sort of player he is. So let me give you guys a breakdown of how he plays in game. Start off with guys, camp style, you gotta go with the catalyst, you know, boost that pace up and boost that passing up, which, you know, he really needs. So yeah, guys, let's get into the card and how he plays in game pace wise i'd say he feels about high 70s maybe you know 77 78 pace definitely good enough for his position not incredible not too bad good enough we move on to defending guys immense i mean 87 defending overall you know 90 interception 87 defensive awareness 89 stand tackle you can feel that's definitely high level you know when you go in for tackles uh just you know where he is on the pitch you know covering runs things like that is definitely high level so that's definitely a pro with the card we move on the physicality too, so he doesn't feel immensely strong like a Musa Sissoko. But one definitely the pro with this card is the stamina, 92, so he's never getting tired. And another thing is jumping, so he does, you know, get on headers and stuff pretty well. Uh, he's also 6 foot tall, so you know, that also somewhat helps. Passing guys, definitely a con with this card. It was not reliable enough for me. You know, sometimes he'd make a dream pass and then he would just like give the ball away, so not that great. Shooting and dribbling also, you know, just makeshift. What's my worry of this card? You know, he's got the high defensive work rate. You know, he's a, he's that guy, you know, who's going to solidify your midfield and your defense. So, you know, if that's the sort of guy you want, he's definitely good. But for me, I still go for a guy like Sissoko. I know he's double the price. But I think, you know, Sissoko with the pace and that physicality, things like that, he definitely, for me, makes a, a larger impact than a guy like Ndidi. Ndidi is sort of like a cheaper option of Sissoko. Peace.